You're watching a free sample video from Teacher's Test Prep. For videos like this one covering every area of your exam, visit us today at www.teacherstestprep.com. Let's talk about proportions. Um, proportions are something that you're probably going to see on the exam. Um, and a proportion is basically when you're comparing two ratios. So first let's just talk about what a ratio is. A ratio is the fixed relationship between two quantities. For example, if you're putting together bags of uh, cookies and you have chocolate chip cookies and oatmeal raisin cookies, and you put two uh, chocolate chip for every three oatmeal raisin, then you have a two to three ratio. Um, so it's this fixed relationship between the quantities and typically you're gonna express that as a fraction. In that case, it would be two thirds, right? Um, when you have two ratios set equal to one another, we call that uh, those ratios being proportionate. So for example, one half is proportionate to two fourths. It's the same thing. So one half and two fourths, same value, just different way of expressing that. The rule of threes tells us that when we know two ratios are proportionate and we have three of the four quantities, we can solve for the fourth. And the shortcut to do that is what we call cross multiplication. So let's look at an example of this in practice and how you could use this on the exam. Um, here's a word problem, very typical of the type of thing you might see on the test. Alice is using a garden hose to fill her son's cylindrically shaped children's swimming pool. After two minutes, the pool has filled with three inches of water. How long will it take for the pool to finish filling if Alice wishes to fill the pool to a depth of two feet? So we want to set up a set of ratios here um, and set them proportionate. So the two quantities that we're comparing um, or that we're setting up a relationship between um, is time and inches of water, right? It takes a certain amount of time to get a certain number of inches of water. So after two minutes, the pool has filled three inches. So we can say our ratio is two to three, two thirds, right? Two minutes, minutes are on the top, inches that the pool is filled on the bottom, right? Now we wanna know how much time it takes for this to finish filling. So the quantity of time we'll put on the top again on the other side. So it doesn't matter if you put time on top and uh, units of inches on the bottom on one side, but you have to do the same thing on the other side. Don't put time on the top on this side and inches on the top on the other side, you're gonna get the wrong answer. Make sure if you put time on top on this fraction, you put time on top of the other fraction as well. Um, so the unknown number of minutes that it's going to take to finish filling over what? And this is what's really tricky and they'll, they'll trip you up on this kind of thing on the exam because you might think, let's put it over 24, right? Because you say two feet is the depth that she's going to fill it to. We're going to convert that from feet into inches. So two times 12 is 24 inches, right? But what's important to cue into here is in this particular problem, they said finish filling. Um, it's already been filling um, and it's filled three out of those 24 inches. So we, we only care about the inches that it takes to finish filling. So the total is 24, but it's already filled three of those 24. So we subtract three from 24 and we get 21. So 21 is gonna be our denominator of the second fraction here. Now we can simply cross multiply. We go three times X and we get three X and we go 21 times two and we get 42. Now we need to get x by itself or isolate it, so we're going to divide both sides by three. Whatever's being done to x, you do the opposite. If something's being added, you subtract. If something in this case is being multiplied, you divide by that same thing. So it's being multiplied by three, we divide by three. The, the, x's, or the threes cancel out on the side of the equation where we have x, x is by itself. 42 divided by three gives us 14. So 14 is our answer. 14 minutes is the time that it'll take for the pool to finish filling. So be careful when you're reading these kinds of questions. Words like finish are very important to how you're gonna solve it. And if you don't cue into that, they're gonna put an answer, a wrong answer choice on there that would catch you if you were to do it using 24 as that denominator instead of using 21. We hope you found this free teacher's test prep sample video helpful. For more videos like this one covering all the subject matter and strategy you need to pass your exam, visit us today at www.teacherstestprep.com.